everybody and thanks for watching my name is Kay. my channel mostly focuses on content that is beauty fashion and sometimes sneaker related if that sounds like things that you're into then please do join us i would love to have you um so today i'm going to be talking about a bag that i have been waiting for for a very long time i ordered this bag um okay let me let's backtrack so if you don't want to hear me talk about my experience then you might want to fast forward a couple of minutes but this is something that i need to talk about so so i originally ordered this bag um in like august of last year i placed a pre-order with sax um and i was told that everything was going to be good so literally like a week before the release i get a text telling me that the bag is canceled and all this stuff they didn't get enough blah 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 all this stuff so i contact the executives at sax and um they go through all this thing to help me get the bag or whatever so that happens the new order is placed november 15th the release date um and they cancel it so then i they take my money and they cancel the order so then i place an order on my mom's card and they say the order is processed and everything and then they cancel it and they say that the billing information and all this stuff doesn't match my profile which is a lie because i use i use my mom's address for my shipping um so yeah so anyway they um cancel it again so then my mom calls customer services customer service and they apologize all these things and they process an order with her and they tell her that since the client services did it she doesn't have anything to worry about I will be getting the bag so my, we're waiting for it they give me a date uh um they tell me that the bags are no longer like the bag that i originally had is no longer available so we would have to wait and the bag will be shipped out no later than no than december 6th so on december 6th <laughs> no bag no nothing so my mom calls them again and they go oh we're so sorry um the bag will definitely be released be um shipped out by the 15th so 15th comes and goes, of course, there's no bag. Mind you, this bag was supposed to be a graduation gift to me. And at this point, um, I graduated. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, it was supposed to come on 15th, no bag. So my mom calls back again and they say, oh, it'll definitely be by Christmas. Same thing happens, it doesn't happen. So my mom calls them back again and they tell her, it'll definitely ship by January 7th, which is insane. Mind you guys, I ordered this bag on November 15th. Let's keep that in mind. So anyway, they say February 7th is the date. So on January 7th, excuse me. January 7th is the date. So on January 4th, my mom gets a charge. We're, we're all the way relieved. Um, like, okay, finally. Because in case you don't, in case you did not know about this bag, it is sold out everywhere. Um, you have to pay a reseller for it. The prices are insane. This bag is just like not available. So anyway, the fourth comes and goes, she gets charged or whatever. So then on the sixth, we get a message that says the order is canceled. So my mom calls them and they're like, oh yeah, um, we placed the charge and all this stuff and, um, it didn't go through. So my mom's like, yes, it did. And so she um, has a, she calls her bank and she's on the phone with them and they're telling them Gucci that they did in fact charge her and they, they taken her money. My mom has to charge on her bank statement, all this stuff. And they have taken her money and they provide Gucci with the approval code stating that they have money. So the girl goes, oh, well it's canceled now. Um, you'll be receiving your money back and it's nothing we can do. It's sold out and all this stuff. And, and like basically became very, very argumentative with my mom. Um, so at that point, my mom was just like, you know what? I'm not going to deal with this. So she hangs up with them and we contact the Gucci executives. Um, in case, for those of you guys who don't know, if you, if you, not just for like minor issues, but if you ever have a major, major issue, there in customer services or whatever is telling you, there's nothing that can be done. There is something that can be done. So what you can do is, I would not recommend doing this unless you have a valid issue and you know like yeah anyway so you can go online you have to go do some research yourself to find this information but you can go online and you can find the executives for any company so you go and you find them and you make an email you go write an email and you cc 
as many of them as you can as many as of them as you can that way you can ensure that your email is received and that they cannot say that they did not receive it because you're sending it to them all so they're all getting this email so that's what i do and i'm detailing explaining the whole situation that this is my graduation bag how disappointing this is um that we didn't do anything wrong how we waited patiently you know blah 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 all these things um we get a response immediately same day we get a response um my mom then works with the gucci um one of the gucci's executives who, who was wonderful he was really really wonderful um very very helpful um and he promised he like very apologetic to my mom she explains the whole issue she sends them everything she shows them where the charge was she sends them the approval code um and we explained the whole situation to him and um so he did what he did and he secured me back so i have a, i still was able to get my bag despite it being sold out and all this stuff but he did tell me that it was going to be a little bit of a wait because of course he had to secure the bag um but he did and i got it um as of like i think I, it was supposed to be re received by me on february 7th um i got this yesterday on the 8th and so yeah long story short even though this was like my hands down my worst and most stressful bag buying experience um i buy luxury bags all the time i have been buying purchasing luxury stuff since for as long as i can remember um and before that my parents was were buying it for me so i'm very accustomed to like the luxury buying experience i have never experienced anything like this this was the most stressful bag that i've ever ever most stressful bag buying experience that i've ever had and i'm just hoping that when i open this i am so in love with this bag and it's all worth it because this was a complete headache but anyway i just had to share that with you guys and anyway let's get to what i know you guys are really here for and that is to see this bag so i'm going to open this um yeah this is how it came and this bag is from the Hacker Project. Um, this is the Gucci and Balenciaga um, collaboration. This is the small hourglass bag. Oh, and at the time they did try to offer me the large, which is what Sachs tried to do as well. But I was just not a fan of the large bag. Um, it looks a little bit different. So the shaping of it is a little bit different. And I just did not want that one. This was the one that I wanted from the moment that I saw it on the runway. I knew that I was going to have this bag. And... I finally got it. So anyway, we're going to open it. I'm going to open it. Here's what... It <laughs> Here's what it looks like inside. I'm going to sit it down to take the stuff out because it's pretty heavy. So the first thing that fell out was um, probably just the receipt and stuff. Yeah, this is just that receipt. All, pretty much all luxury stuff comes with that. Um, okay, and then they gave me a bag, like a little tote bag. It says Gucci.com. Um, I did not, the first time that I got it, my first bag that I got, I did get a um get the packaging, but I got like this packaging. I didn't get like a um a reusable like little tote bag, so that's a cool little touch. And now let's get to the bag. So here we have it. And I'm gonna open it. And it has a ribbon on it, it's Gucci and Balenciaga. I don't think my other bag had a ribbon on it, I can't remember. Okay, it has like a magnetic closure. Okay, so here we go. This is like the moment of truth, y'all. I feel so, I feel nervous. Like, I'm just hoping it's back. It's everything that I'm hoping for and that it was really worth the insane weight. Okay, hold on. I have to sit this down because the plastic. And we open it to a dust bag. And I'm going to sit this down and take it out to the set. So here we have it. Again, um, these dust bags are like 
co-branded. So Balenciaga on one side, Gucci on one side, which is definitely a nice little touch. And we're just gonna open this up. It's beautiful, guys. It's beautiful. Definitely, definitely worth, it's worth the wait. Um, oh, this is like a little tag and it says that don't remove it um, because you need to have it for returns. But I'm not going to return this back, especially after all of the hassle that I went through. Um, okay, so let's look at the actual bag. So in the back, it has a, um, a little pocket space. And the front, it has the, um, you know, it has the Gucci print and then it has, it's in the, hour, the shape of a Balenciaga hourglass bag. But it has the Gucci print. And it has the Balenciaga closure. So we're gonna open this and take out all of the, it has stuff in it inside. So we're gonna take out all the little filling. And this is the handle, the strap for it. And I'll open this in a second. Oh, wow. This is bag is just beautiful, y'all. Okay. So on the inside, as you can see, it says like um, Balenciaga. And on the top flap, it has the Gucci print. That's super cool. Um, and inside also it has like um, a zipper space, a zipper compartment. And in here they just put like the product care information. Um, so I'm just taking that out so I can see how big it is. Definitely enough space for, oh, it's kind of deep, but it's definitely enough space to keep like your money, your um, card holder, all that stuff. Oh, wow, y'all. I just really love this bag. It is so beautiful. She's a beauty for sure. Like, even more beautiful in person than I was expecting. Um, and now we can dig our hands in the back pocket because at first it was... This is not deep. It's a very shallow pocket. And I pretty much would not put anything back here. <laughs> um, because even though it's kind of tight, it's, it's not as tight when it's not filled with stuff. And I just would be nervous about putting anything important back here. Um... Here's the bottom of the bag, typical hourglass shape. Um, let me put the, let me take the the handles out, take the handle, the strap out. <laughs> Sorry, and put it on this bag. I just got a little bit excited. I'm really excited about this bag, y'all. here and the strap is also in the Gucci print and I'm gonna hook it onto the bag and here we have it with the strap of course I have to like the strap is all like um a little bit bent up because it's been rolled up like that so you have to let it like sit so it can straighten itself out a little bit but here we have it you guys the small hourglass bag and i hope you guys like it as much as i do and my previous bag that i unboxed from this collection was the small um was the coin wallet and I'm going to do a what fits for both of these bags because I was previously asked for to do a what fits but then the bag just like never came I told I told you guys that I would do it when the bag came in but then this bag was like taking ages so I'm going to do that now in the same video and I'll do a what fits in this bag too um just in case anybody wants to see and so I'm just going to jump right into that okay so I don't really carry a lot of things with me usually I have like a card holder these are keys. These are keys to my parents' house. My other keys have, are a little bit more bulky, but I don't have them right now. Um, a lighter, a mirror, some kind of snacks for my daughter. I always have hand sanitizer in this little thing. Um, I put this inside of my purse, but if it's a small purse and it can't fit, I clip it on the outside. Um, I've always carried this even before the pandemic. My AirPods, some type of hand lotion or cream, and my phone. I'm recording on my phone, so this is like my old raggedy phone. Yes, it's all cracked up and stuff, but I'm using this for a demonstra 
demonstrative demonstrative purposes okay so we'll start with the hourglass what fits and then we'll do the smaller one okay so i'm gonna put the car holder inside and then we'll put the phone inside i realistically i would probably put the phone in his back pocket right here so we'll put that right there and then i'll take i'll put this inside a lotion lighter airpods keys which i will put in this little pocket with the card holder so i'm gonna open that back up and put the okay hold on Maybe not. I'll just stick the keys in there. It's not really any space besides my car holder. Snacks. Hand sanitizer. This is what we're at so far. Let me move the snacks over so you guys can see how much space. This is how much space. So when I have room, then I usually do like a makeup case or whatever. And inside my makeup case, it's usually just, it's not a lot in there. It's just usually like lip gloss, a lip liner, um, a backup set of nails, some nail glue, a file, and a mini bottle of perfume. And this is literally all. I know most people have like f stuff to do like their whole face over and all that stuff. I don't carry that. I just carry like the bare minimum. Um. And I have smaller makeup bags as well, but this was the one that I last used. So this is the one that I'm going to use right now, but I don't think it's going to fit in this bag, but let's see. I forgot about this bag and I want to put it in first. Okay, so it does fit barely. Um, let me move some stuff around. back inside okay so it fits everything that i usually carry but just barely and it looks very cluttered so realistically i would not put this makeup bag in here um i would probably use something smaller let me close it for you this is it closed with everything and it's also pretty heavy with all of this it's kind of heavy with this stuff in inside of it but it does fit everything that i would normally carry does fit um but i would not carry all of these things in this bag honestly um but the bag is filled as you can see and realistically i would probably not carry this in here i would just take out the things that i needed and put them in here um individually so that i have space in my purse because i would prefer to carry bags that are more like has less stuff in it like this um or I use a slimmer makeup bag so like kind of like if you ever have ipsy or whatever those type of makeup bags i would probably use one of those in there but here we have it everything fits now let's move on to this smaller coin wallet which is um designed much differently um and i have not worn it yet so i don't really know what fits but we're gonna find out so i'm taking everything out of here And we're gonna go with this one so i've done a previous video on this i will um link to that so you guys can look at it for yourself if you want to but this is how it opens up it opens one time here and it has a little pocket and then it opens the long way here and it has this space so let's see what i can fit in here <laughs> so i would need my card um yeah i need this card holder 
So we'll put that in there for sure. Okay. Okay, you cannot put a card holder in here because if you do, let's see. If you do put it like this, it won't close. So what you're gonna have to do is take out whatever cards you need. So I just take out my ID and a bank card. So I'll do like that. And I will put it in this little compartment right here. Okay, so that's that. And I will also probably take these keys and stick it right there too. Let's see if I can do that. You can, but it's like a little bulky. Hold on. Okay, so here we have it with the keys. Let me show you. The keys and the cards right here. So we'll close that part back and then we'll see what fits in the other compartment and how to close it. You'll definitely have to pack very, very light if you're going to carry this. Um, so here we have this opening and we're going to see what we can fit in there. So I'm going to put my mirror in here. And that's a no. It won't fold up. So we're gonna take the lighter. Of course that fits. <laughs> and it will still close. Um, and I'm gonna put try to put these little Skittles for my daughter. See if that fits. It won't close with the Skittles. See. So that's a no. Let's see what else I have in my bag that we can see if we can fit it. Um, we know this perfume is definitely not going to fit, but I'll try it anyway. So we put that in there. No, it won't close. And if you're going to put like a lip gloss or something, you'll definitely need a smaller one in this. But this is the last lipstick that lip gloss that I wore. Um, this is a Chanel lip gloss lipstick and those are pretty big, but I'm going to still just, you know, just because we're going to stick it in here. We know, we know it won't fit. And of course that's a no. Um, so yeah. And this one, um, let me try these Skittles one more time. Just, to, just to be sure. Okay, so it's a no. Okay, so what fits inside that I carry? My cards, um, a lighter, and my keys. And of course, I will take this thing right here and just clip it on there on the outside. And I do like this. I'm gonna take out what fits in here. So what really fits in here? Almost nothing. So this is really like a card case. So you have to only wanna have like your cards and things of that nature because if you're looking to carry stuff, it's not gonna really work out. You can probably put a really, really small lipstick or a lip gloss in here as well, but I don't have one on hand because the lip gloss that I had was pretty big. Um, so I'm gonna take out everything that I put in here, which is really nothing. Um, I put this lighter. my ID and um, my card and my keys and that is it <laughs> but this is okay for me guys because I typically um, do pack light like yeah so thanks for watching um, if this is things that if you like these types of things then I do a lot of unboxings the bags and things like that so please do join us I would love to have you here um, yeah thank you bye